We recently told you how Catholic Community Services, which operates Casa Alitas Migrant Shelter, reported one of its employees had a conflict of interest with the laundry services. Now, Congressman Juan Siscomani is asking the Department of Homeland Security to look into federal funding for Casa Alitas. Kiga 9's Andrew Christensen is following up and has more details. Last week, I was telling you about how Pima County Administrator Jan Lesher got a report from Catholic Community Services. In that report, they say that they hired a vendor that was not working with a contract, but still giving services to the Casalitas Drexel Shelter. Now, a memo that Lesher sent out says that's against both county and federal rules. And in an investigation by the New Republic, they say that Casalitas hired a laundry service that significantly overcharge them. Well, now in a letter to the DHS, Congressman Juan Siscomani is asking for answers as to where that federal funding is going for both taxpayers and also for Congress. Now, Siscomani says that in fiscal year 2024, so far Pima County has received more than $21 million through FEMA's Shelter and Services Program. Now, when compared to other shelters receiving the same grants, he says Casalitas has used up the funds at a faster rate. He notes a recent report from the New Republic that says $200,000 funded through taxpayers were not used correctly by the shelter. He's also asking DHS for a written response about how much federal money was given to Pima County for Casa Litas and the program before since 2020. He's also asking them to look into how the shelter chose vendors and if they're following established rules. Plus, Siskamani wants DHS to compare the cost of each migrant per day. And Siskamani is asking DHS to look into whether FEMA has enough resources to make sure that those federal funds are being used correctly. I also reached out to Pima County Board of Supervisors Chair Adelita Grijalva and Catholic Community Services, and they both reiterated the very same details that are in Lesher's memo. Reporting on Ajo and Kino Parkway at Casa Litas, Andrew Christensen, KGA 9.